Hey, welcome back everybody. Another day, another vlog. I'm home again, back in the studio, or shed, we'll call it. <laughs> um, finished shift change, flew back to Perth, got here. I didn't want to rush it this morning, it's a big one. It's a huge, huge show. Uh, big shout out to my family and all you amazing people that support me. 400 episodes. Insane. Uh, I started this off as a daily vlog just to give vlogging a go and see what I could do. Um, try to work out, I guess, what my thing was and just enjoying, just giving some tech news and news and just general bits and pieces about me. And it's been good. 400 episodes over the last couple of years. Uh, insane. Loving it. I still enjoy it every day. I'm so glad I switched. I nearly gave it all up uh, when I was doing seven days a week. That's just crazy. Uh, Monday to Friday, but is, yeah, it's really good. It keeps me actually informed in what's going on in the world, and I get to share a little bit of what my interests are, and I guess what I think is cool to use, guys. And if you guys follow, well, then that's fantastic. Uh, hopefully, I provide you something for that. Um, this is, before I go any further, this probably is, I guess, I have to say, a paid, paid uh, sponsorship type scenario. We are sponsored by Bocker Bearings. Um, for this one, we're doing our competition giveaway. So just, oh, should have put that up first. There, beautiful. Thank you, Bocca. Uh, they're great partners of this channel and our fishing team, and they do some amazing products. I can wholeheartedly, from using the products in the Barra Classic and uh, over many years, uh, super stoked with them. Uh, I've got them in my BMX, the PK Ripper, and I love them. They make a massive difference, worth it. We've got some great prizes today. We've got, I think it's 100, 150 bucks worth for the first place getter and a $50 backup prize, a $50 voucher, that's US dollars voucher for bearings, whatever they, whatever you need, they've got. Uh, if you can't work it out, they'll get it for you. Uh, well as a little prize pack, we've got a team hat for their fishing team and for the channel. Well, I've got some new ones coming, so be aware of that one. A little Leatherman from Bocca, so that's cool. A couple of little mouse pads, and these are good because they've got all the sizes for your bearings on, so that's pretty cool. A few stickers to throw in to uh, support the uh, Bocca team, and then one of our prize, limited edition, team waterproof gear bags and backpacks. So it's a little backpack, it's waterproof, it's a roll top type, it's got a team sticker on there. It's a pretty good little actually bag, it's great. We use them at the Classic for our day bags, um, and it comes up good. So we might get into that first. Get a, That's probably uh, the best way to get it done and dusted. We'll get on, get that done and then we'll talk about a bit of news and a bit of what's happening. Um, got the entries here. We do have some entries this time. It's a, it's a nice feeling, <laughs> I've got to tell you. The last competition when I tried to give basically this away, um, no one entered. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know what I did wrong. I hope I haven't offended anyone. <laughs> but um, yeah, today we've, got, we've definitely got two winners. We've got a winner and a backup. So we've, uh, I've chopped up the names, got them in, in the Tigers, Tigers Media Cup. You can get this at our merch store. Go support the merch store. The 10% discounts off. Don't forget for that. That's all done and dusted. It's now December. Hope you got a chance to get something. Um, and I'll be trying to put some more stuff up this week to, for some more print stuff up so you can uh, get some more prints out of that way. So, yeah, go check out the store if you like it. If not, well... Thanks for checking it out anyway. Let me know what you think I should put in there. If you, there's some photos or something you've seen in one of the videos that you'd like to see as a print, to get a print, well, that's easy. Just let me know. I can easily go and whack it in there and get it set up as a print so you can order it and get it underway to you. So that is probably the easiest way for me to print at the moment with just limited numbers. So happy to help. Radio. so let's go in. Simply, first place is going to be the first one I draw. And then second place will be the second place winner. <laughs> Woo! Okie dokie. Radio. Okay. What have we got here? Radio. Well, there you go. One of our regulars, and that's always good. Actually, I think they're both, the, there's a couple of guys in here that are regulars, so it's good to see a few regulars that watch the channel all the time. But the winner today is of this pack, and I'll need, to, if you do watch today, Mike Hunt. Uh, Mike, if you can give us a buzz, and uh, 
flick us an email. I know he actually he has emailed us a few times in the past to ask some questions. Um, flick us an email, mate, and I'll get your address and I will make sure that gets sent out to you, mate. Much appreciated. And thanks again to Bok and Bearings for this valued support over the years, and I do appreciate it. So, Mike, there you go. Congratulations. Hope that's a little bit of happiness into your Christmas for you. Right now, second place winner is sorry, I'll double up ah, the Grey Nomad, another regular. So cool, Grey Nomad. You get a, a voucher from Bocca Bearings. Um, again, just flick us a message, mate, and send us an email. I think you've also got my email. You've asked a few questions, and I, and I actually am enjoying getting back to you guys and trying to help out and, and having chats and conversations with you. I think it's great. It's the best part about YouTube is that, uh, that I guess, um, uh, community that, that gets involved once you do have a channel that starts to grow and you get a bit of a community of like-minded souls, um, and I reckon it's cool. So uh, Mike Hunt wins the major prize. Cool. Thank you very much, Mike. That's awesome. Merry Christmas to you. And Grey Nomad, flick us a message, mate, and I'll get you your $50 Bocker Bearings voucher up there. I'm sure you can definitely use it. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure I've watched a few of your videos. You can do some building and you're doing all sorts of amazing stuff. So that'll be pretty cool. You might be able to get something that might be useful. So very cool. You'll definitely enjoy the Bocker Bearings products. And I hope you, Mike, you enjoy the rest of the pack and it comes in handy on any of your little adventures. So cool. Rightio, that's awesome. Very cool. Very stoked with that. So I will get them. That's out the way. Rightio, so 400th episode, I I guess I didn't, I guess everyone sort of says Casey Neistat, I did watch a fair bit of Casey when I first started watching YouTube and, and getting into the groove of it, I guess, and, and thinking about the idea, but I, I think I first sort of looked at it when Matty Hoppier started doing his, we both started about the same time, I'd been watching a bit, fair bit of Potato Jet, and he was, he just started a daily vlog and he was trying to punch through that. And I thought, you know what, all these guys, big guys, they do it. And, you know, and they, it's probably, at worst case, it's a great learning learning lesson, the way to learn and develop my skills. Because every day I've got to not only film it, I've got to get all the information, then film it, uh, then I've got to edit it and then upload it. So it hones that skills of a daily edit, getting used to Premiere Pro every day, doing thumbnails every day, all that sort of stuff. And I... And to tell you what, after 400 episodes, I feel so much more comfortable about actually, I can literally put this together in half an hour. Now, the biggest difference it's been in the last two weeks is my iPhone 12 Pro. Insane. Um, literally, I would get home from work after 12 and a half hours of work and get back to my room. I'd film it. I'd get it in, put it into Premiere Pro trim off the ends from when I walk around from the camera, get all that, just clean it up generally. Do the edit, uh, that'll take probably 10 minutes in the, on the new MacBook Pro, um, and that's, that's amazing, that made a massive difference. It went from probably an hour and a half to two hours to 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Um, and then I could upload it. Now, the, before that, obviously I'm in a mine site in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the Western Australian desert. It could take anywhere 45 minutes to upload a 15, 20 minute 1080 video. So, and that was for the daily show at site. So it was a big deal and it's like, okay, so I'd go to dinner, come back, finish it off, send it. iPhone 12 Pro, insane. Literally, I am able to upload in exactly the same place, same room, same everything, in less than half the time it was taking me to upload before on my iPhone 10. Because I have to link it, uh, link it together with my laptop. That's the only sort of internet we've got. Um, that I can get hold of. The Wi-Fi is super, it's only two megabytes a second. It's the free Wi-Fi, it's absolutely terrible. Another story, we'll talk about it on another show uh, or another mining video. <laughs> I've got a few more, I think I need to make another video about that, so some issues there. But yeah, so it made a massive difference. So I don't know if it's the Wi-Fi 6 in it or the 5G being a 5G phone that it sort of gives us some sort of better connection or whatever or the antennas are better but it is just smashing my time in half for getting the videos up so that is huge um, they all say it's all about the videos and stuff 
But I tell you, after the first couple of years of my old, poor old MacBook 13 inch, uh, doing 17 hour renders uh, just for a vid 20 minute video, to now being able to use my MacBook 16 inch Pro, uh, that's now pretty much obsolete thanks to M1, <laughs> which is really, really bad. But I don't care because it's so much better than what I had. And um, the times have dropped in half. And now with this new phone, the iPhone 12 as my connection to the internet, it's dropped in half, if not more, probably two thirds it's dropped for the time I can upload a video. So just insane and I'm loving it. And yeah, it makes it easy for me to give you this every day. Um, to all you guys that do listen regularly, I do appreciate it and thank you. It's been amazing, 400 shows. Plenty more to come. Can't wait to get a thousand. That is, I guess my next 500, we'll get to 500, that's gonna be a big thing. Again, every 100, I guess, is it gonna be, we'll try and do a competition on every 100. And then when I get to a thousand shows, well, that's, I'm going to have to find something special to give away at a thousand shows. That's pretty nasty. So we've got a few, few I've got a couple of years, I think, <laughs> to get to that. So hopefully over then we've got 10, 20, 100,000 subscribers so I can really throw the goodies out at you. So we'll see how we go. Rightio, um, big event last night. We're getting some news. Big event last night. I uh, mentioned last week that Sigma was doing another event. Normally we get the one one lens. Uh, look, I'll go through the bad stuff really quickly first. Yeah, it's Sony and L mount. Nothing for Canon again. So like a little bit disappointing yet again from Sigma. They make some fantastic lenses. I love them. Uh, we're shooting on the 18 to 35 art series, my new lens uh, on the M50, which is great. Uh, and I love it. And I love my 16 mil. That's been like the staple of the show for the last couple of years since the boss for the last year. Yeah, it's been a year, wow, uh, since I, that was released and I bought it. I bought it, pre-ordered it and got it. Um, and yeah, just amazing, love the lenses. But for some reason, they seem to have sort of veered away from making anything Canon, especially with the R, R mount doing really, really big business. It's strange they haven't got their, at least their art series going on to the R, RF mounts and it'd be great to get some of that contemporary lenses on there too. That would be awesome to get an RF version that we could use. So hopefully soon, but look, this was a big show for them. Um, they announced a, basically, I guess you call it a, a new range, but it, it's, it's sort of a new range, but it comes under the old contemporary range. So you've got your three types. You've got uh, your art series, can, your contemporary, which is your, basically your cheapest version, still really, really good. Uh, then you've got your art series, and then you've got your sports series, see, or your, your big lenses, telephoto lenses basically built for bird shooting and sports and stuff like that. That's the way they look at it. So yeah, they've had three categories for a while. They've sort of introduced another one last night with the I category, um, but it's it's seen, it's still stamped as contemporary. The lenses have still got that C on there to mark contemporary, but they're, it's, they're saying it's coming under this umbrella of I series. And the I series uh, stands for um, incredible optical, Impressive build quality and innovative user features. So that's the three eyes that that's their, their, their sort of uh, motto for this type of brand. And what they are, they're an all metal lens. So they're not a plastic lens of any description. They're a solid alloy build. Uh, they're built with high quality gear. The optical formulas are supposed to be absolutely tip top. Um, I did watch a quick review on a couple of them from uh, uh, DP review. And they said the optical quality was really good. It did have a couple of little niggles in it, but the look, I think they're brand new. Some great lenses out there. There's three lenses coming out. It's a 24 millimeter 3.5, uh, a 35 millimeter f2, and a 65 millimeter f2. So no zooms in the ranges yet. I think they're just sort of starting, but I think it's a. It, I think they'll do pretty well with this. Uh, the 35 mil, I think, will sell really well. The 24 mil, basically my 16 mil, that's a good focal length. I have had no dramas with it. I think that will be a good lens. 3.5's a little high though, so that's a little bit strange. Uh, saying they're saying it's like the best quality in that, but that's a fairly high sort of a thing. It's more of a. It seems to be a little bit more portraity uh, than a landscape type scenario or astro stuff. I don't think that these are aimed at that. They're, I think they're more so for cityscapes and, and when you, something in daylight more so than the, any sort of night stuff. But look, they're beautiful quality lenses. Um, that 24 millimeter uh, has, just for your thing, has a 10, 10 centimeter minimum focus distance, disc 
distance, sorry, which is just bloody ridiculous. That is tiny. That's like, it's got to be around there. That's insane. To be able to focus, like, you know, it's nearly macro sort of level. Um, and some of the pictures I've seen with that were really, really impressive. So very, very cool. They've changed the AF button on it. So in, where you've got a lens like this, normally the lens is vertical like that. But what they've done, they've changed it to rotate with the, with the lens. So when you're on there, or if you shoot, when you're shooting, when you're going to shoot, you can actually switch it with one finger, just flick it up and down from AF to manual so you don't have to slide it forward, if that makes any sense. Hope so. Um, they also had something very interesting, and I think magnets have become huge in everything we do. Everything's magnets, magnets, magnets. Well, now Sigma's come out, and they've been the first one to get in. Their lens caps are a magnetic lens cap. So because they're a steel body, they're able to create a little uh, magnetic lens cap that just pops straight on. There's no ridges or anything to clip in. It just pops on. And I do suggest you go watch the video of the thing. Fast forward through the normal boring sort of about the lenses stuff. It's good to have a quick look, but go to the part where they do the road test, I guess you'd call it, of the magnetic lens. And they've got all their Sigma employees in their, in their scientist uniform running and going for a walk and up the stairs. And it's just bloody piss funny, hilarious. I actually really enjoyed that. That was the best part of the whole uh, release was that uh, like it's a two minute little skit uh, where they do the testing. It was quite funny, really well done. And uh, yeah, they should do more of that and less of uh, old mate just standing there reading out specs. It's a little bit boring. I, have to, I do have to say, I'm sorry, Sigma. <laughs> but the, the, the uh, magnetic lens cover testing was just insanely funny. So go check that out. Now prices on them, the 24 mil is going to be coming in at 549 US bucks. Uh, the 35, 639, and the 65 will be 700 bucks US. Uh, now they're all available, the 35 and 65 early gen, and the 24 will be probably middle January type. So that's not far away, a few weeks basically now. We're in, we're in Christmas time, December's here. Um, so four or five weeks, and you'll have these lenses. So if you have been looking for a really nice prime to suit your Sony or L mount, because they don't make them for Canon, <laughs> uh, look, there's, these primes are going to be pretty uh, tickety-boo and you definitely go check them out before you make a decision, I think. You might be highly impressed. There's a couple of good features to them. Uh, DP, DPR reviews got some reviews. Uh, Gordon Lane's got a full review on one of them as well. So there's definitely some options there for you to get some good information as well. So check them out. Rightio, um, some other news in tech world. Apple, is either, they're either good or bad. The M1s are killing it. Uh, they've now been sued, though, by the um, blah, 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 water resistance in Europe. Uh, the European guys have sued, sued them. I think it's like $10 million or something over water resistance claims. They had an ads where they could drop it in four meters and for 30 minutes or whatever, the usual stuff. So the iPhone 12, they say six meters for 30 minutes. Um, for whatever reason, some people have had some issues where it's got wet and hasn't worked, that resistance, and, it's, and the phone's failed, and Apple hasn't come up with the warranty, which is a little bit disappointing, a bit scary, I guess, for everyone that's got a $2,000 phone in their hand. Uh, I'd like to think they'd come to the party and support you when you sort of go down that road. So especially if it's only like you... It, I'm sure you're going to get a few people that dodge it that have dropped it in 20, 30 minutes or left it in the pool for a night or something stupid when they're drunk. But there's probably going to be a lot of people that have done like nothing wrong and it actually has been a bit of an issue. It can't, they're not going to be perfect. There's millions and millions of phones. You're going to make mistakes, but for not to honour that warranty, well, now it's cost them, going to cost them about 10 million bucks. So a little bit of an eye-opener just if you are planning on using your phone underwater, just be aware that it may, the one you have in your hands may not be as good as you think it is. So please be aware. Rightio, uh, early drop this morning, basically last night, I guess for the States, is Canon C200 has been announced. CR3 from Canon Rumors, so that's pretty much legit happening. Uh, it's coming in April. Uh, sensor is straight off the C300 Mark III. It'll do raw recording, it'll do 422 10-bit color and 40, 4K 60 
and 2K 120p. It's got a unibody design, so it's a little bit different to the normal setup. Uh, so we're looking forward to Apple. No, no details on prices or anything. Uh, just stay tuned, and I'll keep you up to date on that. Again, that's going to be a that's been the staple for a long, long period for sort of intermediate. I guess once you move up from the DSLRs and the mirrorless, the good quality of theirs. You move into those cinema cameras and you get into that sort of C100, 200, 300 mark. Well, this C200 is is normally well well known and well renowned, and I think it'll be a good little unit. So that'll be coming in April. So we're already looking into the next year. 2021 looks to be a good year for tech, for everything else, and hopefully we can get rid of that nasty vid and crack that off and get back to normal so everyone can enjoy life like we should. Rightio, again, congratulations to Mike Hunt and to the Grey Nomad for the winning competition. Uh, Merry Christmas to all of you uh, that didn't get a chance who forgot to leave a message on the video, on the Canyon, Canyon Loop. Um, but yeah, thanks again to everyone. 400 episodes, absolutely stoked, amazed, wrapped to be here, wrapped to be talking to you, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. So whether you're coming this way or that way, I'll see you tomorrow for 401. Adios. Peace.